But first today, this is the biggest scandal to rock the Indigenous art world in years. Accusations of white hands interfering with Aboriginal art. This story first broke five weeks ago, and when it did, no one wanted to know about allegations that white staff were painting on artworks at the APY Centre Collective in South Australia. The National Gallery of Australia director, Nick Mitchkovich, claimed this was all unsubstantiated and speculative. It has taken five weeks for Federal Arts Minister Tony Burke the South Australian and the Northern Territory governments to agree to work together on an investigation, an inquiry now ordered to protect the integrity of First Nations art. The allegations are that the manager of the APY Centre, Sky O'Mara, and her white studio assistants routinely painted on Indigenous canvases to make the works more commercially appealing. This scandal was uncovered by the Australian's Greg Bearup after he visited the APY lands with Linda Burney. And what they're actually painting are their ancient and sacred stories, what they call chukapa. And so for a white person to interfere in that chukapa is incredibly offensive uh, to a new artist. So yes, in this particular instance, um, it is not okay for white people to interfere. And the APY ACC use that authenticity in their marketing to sell these paintings. Five Indigenous artists and six former studio employees had alleged that there had been white interference. Indigenous paintings are often manifestations of the dreaming and they represent ancient stories. Two organisations, which represent thousands of artists, have now called for Amara to step down while the investigation is underway. The Australian Today reports, quote, many others in the industry have also called on Ms O'Mara to resign, stating that while she remained the general manager of the troubled organisation, immense damage was being caused to the sector, leading to a dramatic decline in sales due to a loss of confidence. Now, when journalist Greg Bearup first approached the collective for comment, he was told that white staff never touched Indigenous art. Then, when he showed a photograph of a white assistant holding a paintbrush, he was told the assistant was simply holding it for the Indigenous artist and she hadn't touched the canvas. But then he published this powerful video showing the involvement in the work of Aboriginal artist Yuritiji Young. And you have to listen carefully for when one white assistant asks another, can I juice this one up a little bit? Do with another rock over there, or is that going to be too circular? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. space is probably good. Yeah. This space for breathing. Can I juice this one up a little bit? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, yeah. And Tina, that's actually nice, that space there. After Greg Bearup published this video, the centre again changed its story and claimed it was perfectly normal for assistants to help artists create their paintings. Federal Arts Minister, Labor Minister Tony Burke even released a statement saying there was nothing wrong with an artist being assisted to create their work as long as the artist maintained creative control. But those aren't the allegations. And what has been alleged in this case is that white studio assistants have stepped over the mark and have painted substantial sections of these paintings. Now, the National Gallery of Australia has a, a massive exhibition coming up of paintings from the APY Art Centre Collective Studios. Uh, it is now looking at, now launched an investigation to look in to see if there has been white people painting on those paintings. 
These are serious allegations and it took too long for the industry to address them properly. At a time when we're debating a voice to parliament, our political class was too quick, too eager to silence the voices of Indigenous artists because their allegations were uncomfortable, difficult, politically sensitive. Interference in their art is a big deal. These artworks often sell for tens and tens of thousands of dollars, if not more. It's important our First Nations artists aren't being exploited for money. And let's hope the federal government and the state governments that have agreed to an inquiry just yesterday, let's hope that they do give Indigenous artists a voice and that they don't silence them through fear or legal letters. Often the, um, the money that is being paid to artists is the only non-welfare money coming into uh, Indigenous communities. Now, it's absolutely yeah. critical that we are confident that the art is being produced by Indigenous Australians. It is important that we all have confidence in the way that it is being produced. So, yes, I support this inquiry.